Uh, some time ago, you had mentioned about um, when we, I, we were all discussing about different things we could do to earn money and working and, and jobs and this and that, you had brought up uh, the aspect of beingness. You don't have to do anything. And over this year time, Most I, of you believe you have to do something in order to justify money coming to you. That right. is... Right. Uh, and over this last year, I've, I've gotten better on uh, experiencing this concept. But could you go into a little bit more detail on, on that? I, most who are thinking in terms of dollars are approaching them more from the subject of lack than from the subject of just allowing the dollars to flow in. We uh, bring it to the picture of when you get up in the morning, you do not all go out onto the porch and try to breathe in all of the air that you will be wanting for the day, afraid that others may suck it up before you get a chance to get your share. You acknowledge that you breathe it in and let it out and let, breathe it in and let it out as you are wanting it. And the dollars or the abundance of the universe is the same way. Uh, most, whenever you associate anything with dollars, find yourself working against yourself because your attention to the lack of dollars, now think about it, it is just the programming that you have accepted. Uh, more of you speak more of lack than you do of having enough. Uh, the balance of your experience has to do, let us take the subject of dollars. As there is abundance of dollars and in the same moment lack of dollars, what any of you are personally experiencing in any point in time has to do with which of those two probabilities you have given the most attention to. If you have felt good as you are focusing upon the dollars flowing in and out of your experience, then you are almost all, without exception, experiencing dollars or enough dollars, adequate dollars, satisfactory dollars within your experience at any point in time. But if you have been one who has been saying there are never enough or there isn't enough or, oh, I cannot afford that or, oh, that one is lucky because he has somebody to take care of him, if you have been adding your emphasis to the lack of dollars, then that is more what you are experiencing. And so for most, for most, not for all, but for most, there is more of a lack of dollars within your experience than there is dollars. All you have to do is tip the balance just a little bit by consciously focusing upon the value of the dollars that you hold. Now the tendency is to say ten dollars is not enough, but ten million would be. And we say, in the first place, you don't know if 10 million would be enough or if it wouldn't because you don't have 10 million dollars and so you're not in the position to judge. But the point is, as you look at the 10 dollars and say, oh, this crummy little amount of money, then you are literally closing a door that will not allow more to, where if you are looking at the 10 dollars and saying, ah, 10 dollars, I can do this, I can do that, getting the positive feeling regarding the dollars, then the dollars just automatically begin to flow into your experience. It is just a matter of making a conscious, deliberate effort at feeling good about the dollars that you do have, and then by law of attraction, those dollars will become more. And as you feel good about those, those dollars will become more. And as you feel about those, those dollars will become more. But as you are not feeling good about the dollars that you have, not one other can get in. Now, the way that the work fits into it is that the work or the exchange of energy is the way that most of you justify letting the dollars in because you basically don't feel that you're worthy enough for good things to come to you unless you prove yourself worthy. That is sort of the way you have been fostered in this physical environment. You have been encouraged to believe that you are here to prove yourselves worthy. And proving yourselves worthy means suffering and working hard and doing all of those things so that you can have a reward later. What we are wanting you to understand is that there is none of that. You are here intending to apply the laws of the universe, which are so simple. They say, you get what you give your attention to. You say, well, I've been giving my attention to dollars. Why don't I get more dollars? And we say to most of you, you have not been giving your attention to dollars. You've been giving your attention to not enough dollars. And so not enough dollars is your experience. All you have to do is look for reasons to feel good about dollars and they begin to flow abundantly into your experience. As physical creatures, you watch your checkbook decline, you watch your physical body decline, you watch your physical planet decline. You are those that are fixated upon declination and we say, there is not such a thing. Nothing just goes away. All of it is in the process of becoming. It is not in the process of going, it is in the process of becoming. And so you are the magnet attracting what is coming into your experience, you see.